Um, Kelly, an eccentric manic pixie green girl, steps into the light. She wears a ripped vintage t-shirt, jeans, Doc Martens, a pink faux vegan fur coat, and sparkly lip gloss. When Kelly takes her headphones off, the pop music cuts off. Hi, you. I like Kelly because she's beautifully bizarre, and because she likes me for some reason. I don't really have friends, so I can't be too picky. Kelly is my first friend in a long time. I like your hair. Kelly is everything I'm not. Maybe that's why I, I like spending time with her. She could throw a book bag down without getting anxious about the shifted items inside. I like your place. It's minimalist. Why haven't you invited me over sooner? This cool, beautiful girl doesn't think I'm totally bizarre. Even when I do stupid shit like wear a suit inside my own home. You seem nervous. Are you going to ask me to marry you? No, definitely not. <laughs> I'm joking. Chill. Right. Sorry. Can you come sit? It's time for me to take over. Control the outcome. Kelly, I appreciate the love letter you snuck into my jacket pocket. That was sneaky. But you can't love me. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Well, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying it's not a good idea for you to have feelings for me. Feelings I can't reciprocate. You don't think I'm cute? No, I, I do. You're one of the prettiest women I've ever seen. My childhood traumas made me too weird, huh? I like that you're weird. Well, then what? What is it? Oh God, here it comes. The disaster. I'm a psychopath. I know. What? I assumed you were either a psychopath, sociopath, or had Asperger's. Okay, so then you know I'm not emotionally all there. I'm not. Correct. <laughs> She's laughing at me. I see the way you look at me. Everyone looks at you. But you look at me like I'm special. You are special. You're the only person in my life, at the moment. But I don't know why you'd want to date me. I want to date you because I like you. A lot. I feel like I have so much to catch up on and that's stressful. You'll get there, just give it a chance. What if I can't get there? I don't think I can get there. You're going to, I'm gonna make you feel. You deserve to experience love, too. Love. Kelly wants me to fall in love with her. <sighs> just try with me. I just don't think it's a good idea. I think you'll get hurt. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Be my girlfriend, Andra. Girlfriend? Don't you want to kiss me? Yes. Then kiss me as yes. And yes to try. This is bad. I shouldn't kiss her. I shouldn't. Very nice. Can I have you do the ending scene, please? Let's start from Kelly Ran Hot for me. Kelly Ran Hot for me, always. Oh, I'm sorry. Gotcha. Can you age 18? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Kelly Ran Hot for me, always. She came into my life roaring and passionate, so something I never calculated, as smart as I am, was that she could go cold. That the dramatic highs could swoop down to the lowest lows. Sure, I'm a psychopath, but she's a covert heartbreaker. You said you loved me. That from my understanding of love, you don't just end things with someone you love. It's not that I don't love you. I, I do. You just, you don't give enough. And I know you never will. You made me do this. You made me try to be in a relationship, so I'm not having the exact emotional response that you want me to have. Now it's over. Don't say it like that. That's exactly what it is. I don't want it to be over. It has to be over. You don't love me. You were right. You never should have done this. I should have known better. How could she do this? I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to fucking cry. Okay, let's do the scene again. This time, um, Truman, can I have you come at it more emotional? Mm. Upset about it? Mm. Um, and sad? Um, let's have you play a little bit more emotional as well. Okay. 
Okay, I'm starting from the top. You can just start from, you said you loved me, so. You said you loved me. And for my understanding of love, you don't just end things with someone you love. It's not that I don't love you. I do. You just, you don't give enough, and I know you never will. You made me do this. You made me try to be in a relationship, so I'm not having the exact emotional response you want me to have. Now it's over. Don't say it like that. That's exactly what it is. I don't want it to be over. Well, it has to be over. You don't love me. You were right. We never should have done this. I should have known better. How could she do this? I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to fucking cry. Let's go to the I love you scene. Have you ever spelled yes for anyone who's on page 15? I like that scene. Yeah, I like the words. Aw, that's good. <laughs> love that. And? Have you ever slow danced with anyone before? There's no point in lying here. She knows. No. <laughs> I'm so just all I'm sorry. Isn't it funny that it's called slow dancing? Why? We're moving slowly. Yeah, but everything inside me is moving so fast. My head, and my heart. Oh god. She's looking at me the way Noah looks at Allie throughout the entirety of the notebook. I would argue that as a psychopath, I'm more tuned into the human condition. If anything, I play the game better than emotional people. It's simple. Objectivity is power. Emotions are weakness. Emotions basically confuse and blur everything. I... I love you. Humans are in search of the reaction they want rather than the truth. Once you understand this, you can excel at being human. Kelly is telling me that she loves me. In reaction, she wants me to say it back. If I don't say it back, it will hurt her. I love you too. Okay. I wanna try... Don't sound like you love me. Mm -hmm. I know, should I say that like you want to say that? Let's go back to the very beginning scene. Um, and Truman, when you start the high you, let's start the high you. Come into it with um, that manic pixie dream girl kind of energy. Okay. And like the play it really upbeat. Like for instance when you're like you're like toying with her, you know, like mm -hmm. you know you're you're coming in and you have a plan, you know, like you, you're like I'm you're coming in and she already spoke to you on the phone and said it wasn't a good idea, right? So yeah. you're coming in and you're like you know exactly what you can. Gotcha, gotcha. Um yeah, just higher energy which, and you're trying to convince her and have fun with it. You like when you say you seem nervous, are you gonna ask me to marry? You're like flirting with her. Kind of just under the rug there. Let's turn the top. From Hi You. And go ahead and are you ready? Hi You. I like Kelly because she's beautifully bizarre. And because she likes me for some reason. I don't really have friends, so I can't be too picky. Kelly is my first friend in a long time. I like your hair. Sure. Kelly is everything I'm not. Maybe that's why I like spending time with her. She could throw a book back down without getting anxious about the shift of items inside. I like your place. Minimalist. Why haven't you invited me over sooner? This cool, beautiful girl doesn't think I'm totally bizarre, even when I do stupid shit like wear a suit inside my own home. You seem nervous. Are you gonna ask me to marry you? No. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely not. I'm joking. Chill. Right. Can you come sit? It's time for me to take over. Control the outcome. Kelly. I appreciate the love letter you snuck in my jacket pocket. That was sneaky. Mm -hmm. But you can't love me. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Well, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying it's not a good idea for you to have feelings for me. Feelings I can't reciprocate. You don't think I'm stupid? No, I do. You're one of the prettiest women I've ever seen. My childhood traumas made me too weird, huh? I like that you're weird. Well then what? What is it? Oh god, here it comes. The disaster. I'm a psychopath. I know. What? 
I assumed you were either a psychopath, sociopath, or had Asperger's. She knew? Okay. So, then you know I'm not emotionally on there. I'm not. Correct. Great. She's laughing at me. I see the way you look at me. Everyone looks at you? Yeah, but you look at me like I'm um, special. You are special. You're the only person in my life at the moment. But I don't know why you'd want to date me. I want to date you because I like you. I like you a lot. I feel like I have so much to catch up to. That's stressful. You don't get there. Just give it a chance. What if I can't get there? You're going to. I don't think I can get there. You're going to. I'm gonna make you feel. You deserve to experience love too. Love. Kelly wants me to fall in love with her. Just try with me. I just don't think it's a good idea. I think you'll get hurt. That's a risk I'm willing to take. You might kiss me. Go over me. Don't you want to kiss me? Yes. Then kiss me as a yes. And yes to Trump. This is bad. I shouldn't kiss her. I shouldn't. Boy. How do you guys feel? Feel good? Yeah. Feel, yeah. I want to get it. I want to get there. Mm -hmm. You know? I think it's annoying for me not, like, not having them eyes and stuff. Sure. But it's also hard that to. Yeah. I feel, I just feel bad because I feel like I'm not giving them <laughs> anything to work with. It's hard because she's going to be very flat. Yeah. So you have to bring the energy. Yeah, but I can, and I can work all, I can be like the contrast. Yeah. Know? Yeah. But it like takes me out of it personally when I'm like, oh God, I can Yeah. Do you guys want to try a little bit of improv with each other? Like, um, just like yeah. having a conversation. Mm -hmm. And it can be about, let's maybe, like, let's pretend it's you guys' first date. Cool. And uh, just how you guys would interact with each other, and um, you're going to be more interested in getting to know Sav's character, and Sav's going to be getting to know you. Gotcha, yeah. So you can kind of lead it, and I want you to come in with that like energy that we're talking about, mm -hmm. and see mm -hmm. how much you can pull. And feel free to take yourself there. You can walk in and sit down if you want. You can both sit down awkwardly. You want to do something? Yeah. Okay. It's so good to see you. It's good to see you. Come on, sit. You look pretty. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. What did you do today? Um, I work. <laughs> I went to work. Oh. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah, work is boring. Right. I called off today. You did? So I could see you. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. Mm-hmm. And I drew you a picture. Okay. But I left it in my car, so I was thinking cool. maybe we could go for a ride later. Yeah. This rose garden around here. Really? Yeah. I've never I been. Brought a blanket and we could lay down. Mm -hmm. And look at this guy. If yeah. you want. I do. Did you have any dreams last night? Dreams? Yeah. Yes. Did I am? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You were in the room too. Really? What was the dream? I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so nervous. Yeah, I can tell. Don't be nervous. I like your bracelet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is it a bracelet? Get out. Get one. Maybe you could get me one. You want me to get you a bracelet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It could be like a symbol of of our connection. We have a connection. Yeah. Can't you feel it? I feel it all zinging inside my whole body. <laughs> yes. Well, it's beautiful out there. Sure is. I saw a hummingbird in the 
front garden. It made me think of you. Me? Yeah, because you're like, shiny and beautiful too. Thank you. Yeah. Just like my bracelet. <laughs> Just like your bracelet. That was great. <laughs> what about the little skin? <laughs> Did you be it? That's, so, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm going to submit that now. <laughs> that's hilarious. That was really good. I like it. You're it's so interesting. Like, I'm just going to level with you, to be honest. You bring such a different energy to this character than I would have ever imagined, but I do really like it. Yeah, me too, actually. It's like very it's sweet. Yeah, it's almost like you so it's sincere. Yeah, it's almost, but it's kind of sad, so it's scary. Yeah. yeah. Can I have, have you guys improvise, and I want you to be really, like, upset. Like, yeah. you're upset that you're doing this. I want to know if I can get you close to that brink, and I want you to just improvise back, being like, why are you doing this? Why are you ending things with me? Really, like, I have to do this. Yeah. You know, I want you to get a little closer. Yeah, it's important, I guess, to... To have you be really upset that you're doing this, but, like, you have to do it. Because Kelly is well, the emotion here. If you're both really yeah, calm and yeah. flat, it won't hit the right, same right, way. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. So let's just see what you guys can come up with, like, going back and forth. Um, say that you're editing to have the start, and then you guys can improvise. We can't be together anymore. Why not? Because you don't give me anything. You don't love me enough, and I know that you never will. But uh, you don't know that. Stop. We just... I do know that. I felt it, and you told me, and this was just so stupid. I shouldn't have done this in the first place. But you made me do this. When you love somebody, you just don't let them go. You never let me in in the first place. You made me do this. You made me get into a relationship, so now I'm not having a response that you're wanting? No, you're not having a response at all. I can't reach you. You're not there. You don't love me. How can I love you when you don't even love me? You give me nothing back. We're sorry, Andre. This was so stupid. I shouldn't have done this in the first place. You warned me. You told me it wasn't going to work, and I... I'm sorry. That hit really deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry. I wish I could keep going. That's good. Let's stop there. It's going to be a hard decision. All of it. Yeah, you got this for me. I know. That was really good. Yeah, it's fun. It's like nerve wracking. It's so crazy. Yeah, I just think you could be really right with this in a way that I didn't envision before. Whatever, whatever you choose right. will be right, you know. Well, I think it would be a really cool way to help me get through mm -hmm. some stuff. Because, like, I am really bad at, like, in real life, mm -hmm. um, talking. Like, I kind of, like, freeze up and, like, can't say all the things that, that I want to. Mm -hmm. And, like, this gives me an opportunity to like kind of break through to the other side of that. When what what's the um, plan for it? So we're planning to shoot February 29th and March 1st, which is a weekend it's Saturday, Sunday. So this four shoot days total they're both Saturday, Sunday on two weekends and March 7th and March 8th. Cool. Are you free then? Yeah, I just put in my two weeks out of these. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, she's like, I will be free. Kind of good well, time. And he's amazing. I think like you have the sweetness that makes sense that she would fall for. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I know. Sweet, yeah, because I think the second I can get your full eye contact on her, yeah. that's where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. And when you guys are like off book, yeah. I'd love to see you guys again, like when I'm more off book, even just for one scene. But I really like this, and I like the energy you guys have together. Thank you for taking some time to come here today. Yes, thank you. It's really great to meet you. You too.